and fellow cannabis enthusiast, it's Corey with Corey Cooks Cannabis. If you're not feeling zen, of course, pick up your instrument. Wow, that was, wow, that was a really good toke. I am now finished my train wreck, and I am on to banana lemon sherbet. Let me see. I've decarboxylated some here. Lemon banana sherbet. It's, it's, it's no train wreck, but it's not a, it's not a horrible sativa it, it's okay how about that it's okay um train wreck is definitely 100 percent better how are you all i am super excited for today's episode um if you recall a couple weeks ago or a week ago um my friend at work gave me that beautiful beautiful uh zucchini uh, huge that I got to manage to make two different things. So the last time we made the brownies and they were delicious. My goodness, you couldn't even tell that there was zucchini. There was a little bit of a crunch, but you couldn't even tell there was zucchini in it. So this week, what we are doing, we are doing another zucchini recipe. We're gonna do a zucchini loaf. It's, you know, like a banana bread. Uh, in the same sort of category um but we are going to turn them into muffins that way it's just easier for me to share um i can just give a muffin or two to people so we're going to turn the recipe into muffins which we will cook it a little differently and we'll get more into that once we uh get to that point of the video and once again thank you to all my new subscribers oh my gosh Thank you for coming along on this wonderful journey. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet and you love watching me be silly, uh, stoned and infused uh, foods and different things, thank you. Just hit that subscribe button. All right, enough about pitching the channel. Let's dive in. What we have here is, I don't know what we have here. Oh, a piece of zucchini. <laughs> That's funny piece of zucchini we have one and three quarters of a cup of flour and to that we are going to add a quarter of a teaspoon if i can open it a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg now nutmeg is pretty strong so you'll want to level off your spoon unless you really like the nutty flavor but goes so well with the squash and the pumpkin family, doesn't it? And we want one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I have a half teaspoon here. And three. As you know, I'm not careful of leveling off, leveling off uh, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. All right, I'm just gonna add a splash more. Okay, then we want one teaspoon of baking powder. Let's level this off. Oops, I don't know I got cinnamon in the baking powder. Oh, goodness. I should have cleaned off the spoon. I didn't even think. One. It's only a little bit of cinnamon. Two. <laughs> I don't count out loud, I forget. Okay, guys, and we also need one half of a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And let's just whisk this all together. There we go, whisk it all together, get a nice blend on there. And then we'll put that aside. Now it's all mixed together. Oh, I love that nutty smell of nutmeg. Okay, now we'll just put this aside until we're ready for our wet mixture. And in this one, we are gonna make our, uh, do our wet mixture. 
Now, I want to show you, um, in this recipe, you can use um, a half a cup of vegetable oil or half a cup of melted uh, olive, uh, coconut oil. Goodness gracious. Can I get through an episode without stuttering and stammering? I somehow don't think so. Anyway, my goodness. So I am opting to use coconut oil. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I like the idea of putting coconut oil in it. I think it might be really good. And as you know, um, I always say re-sift your um, cannabis oils or whatever before you use them because things like that will happen. Look at all that debris. That would have went into our cake. And I don't think that would have tasted really well. Not our cake, our muffins. My goodness, Corey, you're having a rough day. And that's what would have went into our muffins. So I am glad I decided to sift it again. Um, I could see on the bottom that there was debris once it settled. Um, so the recipe calls for a half a cup of all, uh, coconut oil or vegetable oil and we have a half a cup of coconut infused oil i infused this oh a few months ago and that's the end of it and i actually had just a half a cup left how amazing is that i'm going to actually scrape all the goodness out we don't want to leave any of it behind it's so cannabisy all right, and the recipe calls for quarter cup of applesauce, Greek yogurt, or uh, sour cream. I only had sour cream in the house. So, unfortunately, we're gonna use sour cream, and I hope uh, using the coconut oil will kind of offset the stronger taste of the sour cream. Um, that's my hopes. We'll see what happens, guys. Okay, and we need half a cup of brown sugar. Here's the brown sugar. You want a nice packed cup. Oh, I can get low on brown sugar. Oh, I hate running out of brown sugar. Okay, half a cup of brown sugar. Put that better on the counter. Don't want to lose that. It's sealed in the sealed bag, but still. That that would just stink. All right. <laughs> yeah, cannabis all over the floor. Yeah, that would really, really stink. Okay, I'm just breaking that down a little bit. Uh, it seems the brown sugar was a little bit... clump together. All right. All right. Okay, we also want to add half a cup of granulated white sugar. I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add two eggs at room temperature. Mix that nicely together. Maybe I'll use the whisk. I'll help break up some of that pieces. Yeah, let me just use the whisk here. Keep this here. What did I do with the whisk? Oh, there it is. All right. Um, what was I going to do? Oh. I was going to add the teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add the sour cream. And then once I mix this together, I'll add the last egg, two eggs all together in this recipe. And that was a quarter of a cup of sour cream I used. Mix that all together. And 
and now I'll add the last egg. Perfect. Excellent. I'm happy with that. So let's bring back our wet mixture and we will slowly incorporate our wet mixture into our dry mixture. I'm going to build a little well here first. I'm going to slowly mix this together guys and then we're going to add our one and a half cups of zucchini just getting this all nicely incorporated now you can add walnuts if you want you can add raisins chocolate chocolate chips I think I might have a little bit of chocolate chips left. I think I might add that for an extra little fun kick. Maybe override that sour cream even more. Not that I'm worried about it, but sour cream can have a strong taste. Okay, so here's our batter. It's looking really good, guys. I know, I was just stirring it all in the way you're not going to see it. I know, right? The camera. I'm terrible with the cameras. I'm telling you this. So we want <laughs> one and a half cups. I just have a half cup here right now, so I'm just going to use it. You don't need to blot it. You don't need to any of that. We want the moisture. We welcome the moisture. And shredded zucchini. Just regular shredded zucchini. All right, we'll put that aside. We'll just stir all this zucchini into the batter. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Wonderful. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I can just smell how wonderful it is. Like, I just, the coconut oil, you can smell the cannabis with that faint coconut smell to it. It, oh, it smells delicious. I am going to add the chocolate chips. I'm sure I have some left. Oh, I do have some left. Oh, maybe a quarter of a cup or a third of a cup. I'm not sure. Let's see. This is three quarters of a cup. Oh, about a third of a cup. That's enough, isn't it? I'll give that nice little hint. I think it looks great in there. Now oh, you got the perfect amount. I, I think. Perfect amount. All right, guys. I am going to get our uh, muffin tin and parchment lined, you know, uh, with, you know, oh goodness, I'm telling you guys. Anyway, I'll be right back with our muffin tin ready, okay? All right, guys, I have our muffin tins ready and uh, we're going to fill it almost to the brim. I think, I don't know what I want to use. Do I want to use a measuring cup? Let's see. And it should make 12 muffins. And then that's what I'll do when it's not, f yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right. 
love when a plan finally comes together. All right, guys, we have our muffins all lined in our thing. For some reason, I only got 10. Maybe I filled them too full. Uh, I don't think so. I think they look fine, but I don't know. Anyway, so if this ever happens to you, fill your two empty slots with water so you don't burn them. And this will go into a 425 oven for only five minutes. And then once your five minutes is up, your timer goes off, drop your oven down to 350. Do not remove your oven. Don't need to open your oven door. Just drop it down to 350 for anywhere from 12 to 16 minutes, depending on your oven. All right, guys, we will be back in 20 to 25 minutes when these have had a chance to cool down. All right, friends, until we come back, please always remember, stay zen. Bye. I just heard the sound of the bell of our muffins. I'm so excited. I know I said I would show you after in sample, but I tell you I was so excited because when I peeked in the oven, they looked so good. Let's pull them out, guys. My goodness, take a look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna let them sit in there for another five minutes or so, and then I'll transfer them to the wire rack and let them fully cool down. All right, cannabis enthusiasts, thank you again, and thank you forever. I love you all to the moon and back who come along every week with me. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. And remember to always stay zen. Bye.